What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Kraken X62 280mm AIO, but more importantly, we're gonna be taking a look at the thermal compound that comes on this AIO from the factory because that's currently what I'm running now on my personal computer. I have the Kraken X62 280mm AIO and I'm using, you know, just as it came out of the box with the stock thermal compound applied, put it on there and I've been running it ever since. Uh, we got the computer set at about 4.8 gigahertz at a 2.5, or not 2.5, about a 1.25 uh, v core and we're gonna run some prime 95 uh, let it spin for a while and see what the temperatures get up to if they get too high we'll shut it down but I imagine they'll level out pretty high and then we're gonna switch it to this this is arguably one of the best thermal compounds on the market now this is the thermal grizzly liquid metal and we're gonna take the we're gonna take our AIO off we're gonna put we're gonna clean everything up we're gonna put some liquid metal on there and we'll run the same test again and see if we can drop our temperatures enough that maybe we can you know overclock our CPU just a little bit more to make it run just that much faster. So without any further ado, let's run some uh, Prime 95 and see what our temps level out at and then we'll go ahead and knock our everything down, take it out, clean it out, and get some new stuff put on. But what you're gonna need, if you're, if you're gonna do something like this, I mean, if you need, if you're not gonna use liquid metal, but let's just say you are, uh, you're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol is gonna help you clean off your old thermal compound. If you buy the, you know, if you buy the Thermal Grizzly liquid metal, it's gonna come with two of these uh, alcohol pads to help you out. It also comes with, you know, the liquid metal and the swabs you need in the apply application applicator nozzle, my bad. But if you're just going to use thermal compound, you're still going to need some isopropyl alcohol to get that old stuff off your CPU, make sure everything's clean and dry so when you put the new stuff on, you don't have any issues. All right, so before we get started, we need to talk about one little elephant in the room. If you have aluminum on your cooling block, you cannot use liquid metal. It is, it even, I mean, right here, look at this. Warning, do not use with aluminum heat sinks. This stuff will eat into aluminum and uh, after time you're going to have, you know, a bad time when everything starts going to hell in your computer. Uh, this is made to be used with copper. Your heat spreader on your CPU itself is nickel plated copper, so it's safe with that as well. And it's safe with copper, but no aluminum should be used with this as well. Also, it should be noted that this liquid metal is relatively new to the market and its long term effects on your cooling solution are really a little bit unknown. So. Uh, I'm going to put it on there. We're going to see how it works. I'm going to use it just like anybody would with a normal, you know, thermal compound. I'm not going to delid my CPU or anything like that. We're just going to open it up, use it as a thermal compound like it was so designed for, and we're going to test it. And if uh, something happens down the line where it eats something, I'll make sure to let you guys know. So make sure if you want to know what the long-term effects of using this stuff are, to subscribe. Also, we'll be able to tell, you know, over time, does it doesn't dry up and we have to apply more or you know, what goes on with this stuff. I'm hoping you apply it and it works great and uh, that's about it, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've been running Prime 95 for about 16 minutes, it says now. So we are currently sitting at uh, about 83 degrees C on our CPU temps, on our package temperatures. It looks like we've hit a max at one point of 87 C. So that's a 15, 16 minute run. So what we're gonna do is now is we're gonna shut everything down and we're gonna swap out our thermal paste for the liquid metal and we're gonna run the same test again and see at about 16 minutes what our temperature's sitting at at our you know, current settings that we're gonna leave the same for now. Something I don't see a lot of people do, or I don't think I've actually seen anybody do, is they, they haven't put, they only put it on their CPU heat spreader where, you know, I'm looking at the directions and it says to apply it to both the heat, CPU heat spreader and your water block or your heat sink, whatever. Uh, so that's how I'm gonna do it because I believe Thermal Grizzly, they, they should know how it works. So same deal, same size. We're gonna just smooth it out to, to roughly the same amount. Okay, so Prime 95 has been running for about 33 minutes and our current package temperature is right around 75 degrees C. So it's better than it was before, not a lot. Um, you know, I sat here and watched it for a while. It'll, it'll, do, it'll spike up and it'll come back down, but it seems like it levels off around 75 to 80. So, I mean, the stock thermal compound that NZXT sent with the Kraken X62 did just fine. All right, so it's been about a week and I've been using liquid metal still running, so that's a, that's a bonus. Uh, so I want to, what, what would I, what do I think about using liquid metal as a thermal compound? You see a lot of people using it for delitting because Intel's, you know, thermal compound underneath their heat spreader is a little bit crappe, but for as a thermal compound, it works great. I mean, I was stuck at 4.8 gigahertz for the longest time because I couldn't get 
It just didn't have enough thermal headroom because every time I tried to get that five gigahertz, I would freeze out or do anything. I would never, the system would always crash when I tried to run a stress test, but using the liquid metal, I was just able to get that little extra bit that was able to get me to five gigahertz, which I'm still running now. And like my idle temperatures right now, we're sitting at about 30, 30 C is my 31 C. My house is normally at 69 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 25 and a half C, I guess, ish. So for idle temperatures, I've noticed that they've been a lot lower. Uh, not knocking on the NZXT stock thermal compound, it works great. And if you don't want to take the risk of, you know, frying your motherboard by spilling some of this liquid metal everywhere, it's a great solution to use. I wouldn't worry about it. But when it comes to using liquid metal as a regular thermal compound, what do I think about using it? As long as you're careful, uh, it's fine. I mean, like I said, we don't know the long-term effects of using it. So if you want to know what happens to a computer down the line, does it dry up? Does it eat stuff? Make sure to subscribe because if something goes wrong, I'll let you guys know first. So in the end, liquid metal is a good choice if you're willing to take the risk. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys clicking this video. And if you haven't, just go ahead and check out some other videos. Consider hanging around. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to see what happens to this thing once the liquid terminator eats it all to pieces, make sure to subscribe because I'll let you guys know. Uh, also, check out my mini series that I release every Tuesday that we visit a period of time in history where we look at a historical event that happened on that day and we'll talk about it. So appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.